Hello everyone, welcome back to the, what I think is the sixth episode of the Judy YouTube show. In this episode, as you can see, it is very dark outside and I'm on my front porch. It's probably like 10.30 at this point and for this episode, I'm going to be camping outside. I have a nice little patch of yard over there. I'm going to be sleeping under the stars tonight, so we'll see how that goes. I wasn't sure really where to start when setting up my campsite, but I had a fireplace, so I wanted to build a fire, so I grabbed a bunch of random sticks that were laying around in my yard. Then next, you can see me struggling very hard to zip up my um, sleeping bag. I don't know why it was so hard, but it took me a while. That's why the video is so sped up. <laughs> An embarrassing amount of time to set that thing up. Next, I'm just setting up my little area. I'm using my car headlights as a light source right now because it's pitch black and you wouldn't be able to see anything if there wasn't that light source. And then you can just see me shoving a bunch of sticks into the fire pit again and you'll see me try to light it on fire and fail miserably. Um, I talk about it later, but no one tells you how hard it is to start a fire for some reason. I don't know. It's, you know, it sounds simple. You just light it on fire, but you know, it wasn't sticking. I had the brilliant idea, though, of getting Kindle and trying to find, you know, little scraps of stuff. So I, I found a bunch of leaves, which I'm going to come over and, and put in. And that kind of worked. I mean, it started smoking. It was catching on fire. But I don't know. I think all the stuff I had was too wet or something or too, too old. It just wasn't, it wasn't catching. It wasn't sticking. Hello everyone, just a quick update. Um, I failed miserably trying to start this fire, but I think that's a good um, you know, metaphor for how things have been going lately. I don't mean that in the super depressing way, but just in the, I don't know what I'm doing with this video, so I'm probably just gonna talk for a little bit. But yeah, starting a fire, it's not as easy as it sounds. I, you know, just, you know, it sounds so simple, light something on fire, but you know, couldn't even do that. Couldn't do that. I don't know. I think my stuff was, all my stuff was wet. The, the Kindle and the, and the sticks, the sticks in my yard, too wet. Not good for lighting on fire. But um, I have a nice, luckily it's not freezing outside, you know. It's actually, I'm kind of hot, but it's, it's nice outside. But I have my setup. I got a pillow. Got my sleeping bag. It's kind of flat here, you know. It's not uncomfortable or anything. So I think I'll get a decent night's sleep, hopefully. But um. Yeah, I don't know. It's cool being out in nature and going outside. You know, everyone needs to do it every so often. You know, it's just how it is. But, um, yeah. I would show you guys, yeah. I'm not really sure where else to take this video. I have a plan for the morning, but you guys won't have to wait to see that. It'll be, it'll be cool. It'll be nice. But for now, I don't know. I'm just, I'm outside in the dark. Yeah. Um, I don't even have a nice view, you know? The sky is empty. I don't see any stars. And that's due to um, pollution and human greed. Don't you love it? But um, I don't know. It's still beautiful outside, even if there's no stars. There really aren't any stars, which is crazy. I mean, I can't even see one. I don't know. Even though I don't have a fire, I want to tell a campfire story. Not a scary one. Don't worry, I won't scare you guys. Um, let me tell you a story though. Okay, hold on, let me think of one. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the heroic tale of the time I saved my brother from drowning after he sledded into a pool of ice. Okay, let me set the scene. It's, you know, it's like 2015. Probably, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking like, I'm in fourth grade probably, you know, 11, 12 years old. Solomon, my youngest brother, he's very young at that point, like five, six, I don't know, something like that. We're both, we're both very young. And it's snowing, it snowed the, the, the night before. And there's this hill that's like a few houses down from mine. And it kind of, it's like a funnel, it kind of goes like this and it leads into um, a little like swampy sewage uh, creek area with like a drain for the water runoff and stuff like that. 
So we were sledding down this hill, you know, obviously making sure not to fall in the creek, but Solomon, his young self, he sleds right into the water, like dives right in. So he's freaking out, he's screaming. So I run over, big brother instincts kick in. I run over, I jump in, not even thinking, you know, I'm just that heroic. I jump in and the water's freezing, it is so cold. And I don't know, I was probably wearing like, just like pants and shorts underneath of those pants or something like that, but it was freezing. So I pull them out, cause there's all this water and it's obviously freezing, it's freezing cold, there's ice. And then there's like a hole that leads into the sewer and he's like getting sucked into the sewer. So I pull him out and my other friend Braden comes over and he helps drag him out too. But then I'm stuck in there and someone else has to come over and drag me out cause it's all wet and swampy and I can't climb out by myself. But then after that we all, Solomon went into the, the bathtub with warm water to, you know, warm himself up and then I went in after him. But you know, that was my heroic tale. I think that just proves, you know, my character, what I'm really about. I just smacked the microphone. Hopefully that doesn't do anything. I'll fix it. Um, but yeah, that's my campfire, not so campfire tale. Um, I'm gonna sleep because it's late. It's very late already. Turn my car off so I don't waste all my gas. But I'm gonna go sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Maybe we'll watch the sunrise together. See you in a little bit. Something that I've always loved is just listening to music. It's how I pass a lot of my time whenever I have just free time to do it. But, you know, being outside kind of made me want to just be in the nature and listen to whatever's going on outside. I just want to bring this up again. Uh, it's it's no stars. I mean, absolutely zero stars.